There are various checks that are helpful for biomedical engineers when checking the Tango M2. First, check the calibration of the monitor. We recommend that this be done annually. Please note that the Tango M2 is an R-Wave gated device. You will not be able to check the accuracy with a commercial BP simulator. Also, you cannot use an ECG simulator with the stress system and then place the cuff on a staff member's arm. There is a protocol for correctly checking the accuracy of the Tango M2. For further information, please call SunTech Customer Service at 919-654-2300. Please keep in mind that the Orbit K-Cuff, K-Sound microphone, and gray patient cable should be replaced annually. SunTech makes a preventative maintenance kit for the Tango M2 that includes everything you need. If you aren't sure how old your accessories are, just follow these simple instructions. Open the cuff where you insert the bladder. You will notice a small white tag that will tell you the date the cuff was manufactured. If it is more than one year old, it is time to replace your cuff. For the microphone, look at the cable by the microphone connector for the date code label. On this label, you will see the week and year of manufacture. If the microphone is more than a year old, or if you are not able to read the date due to continuous cleaning, it's time to replace your microphone. For the patient cable, look at the end nearest the pneumatic connector for the date code label. If the patient cable is more than a year old, or if you are not able to read the date due to continuous cleaning, it's time to replace your patient cable. Replacing these items every year will ensure that your Tango M2 is performing in top condition. If you would like to verify readings obtained by the Tango M2 by comparing them to manual readings, it's important that you do not take a manual reading on the opposite arm with a different cuff while the Tango M2 is taking an automatic reading. Although there is no information on the intra-arm difference during exercise, studies have shown that the intra-arm difference at rest is about 10 mm mercury for systolic pressure and 5 mm mercury for diastolic pressure. To properly verify readings, we recommend that you place a stethoscope below the orbit K-cuff at the crook of the elbow and press the start button on the Tango M2. Check the monitor screen for the data you need to ensure that both readings are being taken simultaneously and have the same deflation rate. Utilizing the same cuff, taking readings from the same arm with the same deflation time will ensure you eliminate variability. We hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. At SunTech Medical, we don't miss a beat, so make sure you don't either. Subscribe to our blog and our YouTube channel today.